John, with, with, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. With regard to Justin Houston, uh, Rick laid out a pretty wide range of, of uh, uh, rehab time, six to 12 months. So when you say he's ahead of schedule, what does that mean? He's ahead of the six-month schedule, or what schedule is he ahead of? That's a good question. Yeah. I know this. I'm not a medical yeah, expert. <laughs> I will give you a good answer. I'm not a medical expert, but I can tell you that Justin Houston will be playing this season. When? When is a good time, but not being a medical expert, I really can't definitively tell you that answer. But I would say that our doctors have reassured us that he will play this season. Speaking of the extensions, where would you say you are right now with Eric Berry? Uh, yeah. You know what? We've been in, uh, I've been in conversation uh, with his representatives and had been for you know, a couple months now moving forward. You know, these time this these things take a process. You know, you know, as like last year, you know, I kept telling you all Justin's thing is a process. It's gonna take time and you know, they're very slowly it's gonna evolve, but at the end of the day, you know, good things will happen. How many first round talents would you say are in this draft? I think this is a unique draft class. Um, again, we've always said draft classes are uniquely different year in and year out. I think the strength of this draft will be, you could say the number from one to 12. And then all of a sudden you could take, but you could then blend that number in here from, I'd say 13 to, I don't know, 13 to 30. And then you could take it 31 down to about 60. John, you mentioned, you told us last year, you like to typically have 150 to 175 players on their draft board in a normal year. Yes, sir. Obviously, without a third round pick this year, this wouldn't be considered a normal year. So how many would you say you have on your draft board this year? It's easy. I'll be truthful with you and say 180. Have you, uh, have you guys exercised the fifth year option on fish? No, I mean, I know a lot of guys have been exercising these options uh, on, on players right now. You know, I do things a little bit different. Everybody does things differently in the National Football League. I think what I do is I'm at times probably compartmentalize a little bit too much. So really the task at hand for me is to make sure we nail this draft. And I think, you know, when we get to Monday, we'll deal with Monday. How you rank those guys uh, custom to the Chiefs? In other words, how much is it dependent on a positional need? So if you need a position, he moves higher. How much is it dependent on, on how close you think you are to winning? In other words, maybe your first year you go for guys that, that are more long-term. Um, That's a long good question. Projects and, yeah. No, here's what it is. It's um, our board is set up to draft for the Kansas City Chiefs. There are other teams that draft for the National Football League, meaning they set their board for the entire NFL and how the draft, who's in the draft. Ours is going to be a little more selective, and what that is is mm -hmm. the players that we draft basically will meet the position specifics that have been given to us from coordinators to head coaches. And these are the type of players that will take to win and contribute and have a high degree of success on the field if you get these types of players that fit these parameters. So we're going to do that. Um, and we've done that year in and year out. We'll do the process the same. And again, when it comes time to select that player, there may be three guys up there. And then you'll analyze it and you'll see, okay, what best fits, okay, and what's best for the Kansas City Chiefs.